hello! Welcome, welcome! Come on in! Come on in! Well, hello everybody. We hope you are well. And if you've got winters, I know some of you in the old uh, US of A have got some really heavy snow at the moment. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day here. It's a little bit chilly. So we're uh, talking to you from our boat, Morning Star. And we're looking forward to sharing this week's vlog with you. And this week's vlog, we uh, we hoik up from Bridge Three, which is our one of our favourite spots, isn't it? Yeah. You liked it there, didn't you? Bridge Three, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And <laughs> we'll we'll take a visit to the Triumph Factory in uh, Hinkley, which uh, we found. Unfortunately, we're too late to do the tour. No. Yeah. But we'll tell you all about that as well during the course of this vlog. And then we went to your favourite place, which was. Spinny Farm Shop. Yeah, the Spinny Brook Farm Shop. Yeah. Yeah. You loved it in there, didn't you? Yeah. I yeah. want to go there again and again. <laughs> <laughs> those of you that are our Facebook family will have seen some of those pictures and some of the delicious meat that we. Uh, we lamb. And the lamb and the beef. Oh, the, the beef. beef. They are actually beef farmers. Yes, yeah. And the beef uh, is from their own cattle. Absolutely beautiful. Everything's beautiful, eh? Everything's beautiful. Well, they sell vegetables. Vegetables. Carrots? <laughs> My goodness me, the size of them carrots, they're like cricket stumps, <laughs> weren't they? <laughs> anyway, we'll leave you, we'll get on, we'll come back to you at the end. So enjoy the vlog. So having spent a lovely couple of nights uh, here at Bridge 3, which is uh, just coming up now, we are going to make our way up towards Hinkley and onwards to Spinnybrook Farm Shop in today's vlog. This was and is a most beautiful canal at any time of year. The last time I came up here was in June and this time it was November. And yet it was still a great delight, lovely, lovely scenery. And when the sun shines through the trees, it plays with the still waters. It's absolutely fantastic. And as we make our way towards Hinkley, uh, here are a few facts. Uh, Hinkley is a market town in southwest Leicestershire. It has a recorded population in the 2021 census of uh, 34,202. Historically wise, uh, archaeologists found in 2000 evidence of Iron Age and Roman British settlements on the land near Coventry Road and Watling Street. In fact, Hinkley has a recorded history going back to Anglo-Saxon times. And the name Hinkley, for those that like to know how names uh, come about, is Anglo-Saxon Hink as a personal name and Lee a meadow. It was recorded in the Doomsday Book of uh, 1086 and there it was a quite, quite a large a village and it grew over the following 200 years into a small market town and in fact the first market to be recorded was 1311.
some of the uh, f more famous names that you might uh, know were in fact uh, that uh, Eunice Stubbs, the English actress and TV personality, grew up in Hinkley. Phil Oakley, a singer with Human League, was born in Hinkley. And Davy Graham, the influential guitarist and folk singer, was also born in Hinkley. Hinkley is the traditional centre of the hosiery industry and the first framework knitting machines were brought here by Joseph Leif in the 17th century and by the 19th century Hinkley was responsible for a large proportion of all of Britain's hosiery production. Sadly since the Second World War the hosiery industry has steadily shrunk although several textile firms still remain in this area. One of the oldest uh, family owned Ford Motor dealerships also resides in Hinkley under the name of Payne's Garages and was established in 1907 with them becoming Ford dealers in 1922. Hinkley also houses the Triumph Motorcycles facility and we'll talk more about that uh, later on in this vlog. And here we are passing the Trinity Marina in Hinkley. Uh, there's a Brewers Fair pub there. Whilst we found the afternoon and evening meal to be very good indeed, we were extremely disappointed with the breakfast. So you have been warned. This particular marina is managed by the lovely Max. Now Max is very accommodating, will certainly look after you if uh, you need any help. And indeed he was very good to us on our return journey through. Uh, he's got a great sense of humour and a lot of local knowledge. Uh, that's, uh, so look out for Max if you ever call in there for pump out, water or indeed for fuel. Just coming up now on our, our port side is uh, opposite the linear moorings is where we stayed 
on the way back down the Ashby. Now it is quite dark down there and we did have some uh, person snooping around the boats. Uh, fortunately with our live cameras we were able to spot this and Maester made a very hastily retreat back to them to ensure that the boats themselves were quite safe. Uh, just be aware of that if you actually more it's just down here on the bend there's some beautiful armco uh, if you leave your boat of a night time Now I did mention the uh, Hinkley uh, also houses the Triumph Motorcycles Facility. It was founded in 1902 and is one of the oldest motorcycle producers still in activity. And in 2017 uh, they opened a visitor centre and cafe. Now we have frequented this cafe and I can assure you the food is extremely good and very enjoyable although a little bit on the pricey side mm -hmm. uh, sadly also we were too late to take one of the factory tours but they do offer a great opportunity to go mm -hmm. behind the scenes uh, especially if you've ordered a new Triumph motorcycle and you want to go and pick it up from the factory and I would thoroughly recommend a visit to this uh, establishment Up near Bridge 23 we come across the Spinney Brook a Farm Shop. Now I cannot recommend this stopover enough. Both uh, on our journey up the Ashby and on our return we frequented it and um, got a bit carried away. But it is absolutely lovely in there. The, the food is extremely fresh and the bread OMG it is gorgeous it's not made by them it's actually brought in but whoever makes it it's very very worthwhile um, so we're just going to pause here and then we'll catch up with you shortly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well we hope you enjoyed that uh, we certainly did. You, you enjoyed it, didn't you? You enjoyed the Ashby so yeah, far. Yeah, it's yeah. lovely. Mm. Yeah. And mm. um, and in next week's thrilling instalment, which is our final one on the Ashby, uh, there's a little bit more history to come because we go through some hysterical, um, historical um, parts of the canal and right up to the head of the canal, well, as far as you can go for now anyway. So we look forward to that one. Uh, this week uh, we um, we are returning to uh, Newport, South Wales, where uh, Carol needs to return. Uh, I need to return because um, I have some paperwork that I have to deal with for the solicitors in relation to my father. And um, unfortunately it's not the sort of stuff that can be emailed and printed and scanned back. So kind of choice, got to go back. So we're going to shoot off uh, uh, tomorrow. <laughs> And we're, we're, then we can get back again, can't we? Yeah, we can get back again. Yeah. So, <clears throat> until we see you again next week, uh, we would not wish you all the best. Keep yourself safe and keep yourself healthy. Keep yourself well. And thanks again to everybody who sent such lovely messages this week. And to all our new su 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 subscribers, including our Facebook family. Oh, and what about all the lovely people? 
we yes. met. You met some lovely people. Yes, on the locks. Yeah. We had some great times, didn't great we? Yeah. Times. yeah. Yeah. We've had a lovely time. Right, well look, as I said to you in the intro, we look forward to seeing you next week. And we will be at Crick for two days, probably the Saturday and the oh, Sunday. Yeah. So that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, come and come and say hi to us. Yeah. You'll enjoy that. Definitely say hi, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Until we see you again then, this is Ian. Hello. Saying, ta-da! Bye-bye. Love you.